On a recent trip to Joran Fabric, I found this cute holiday decor for $24.99 and I thought I can make this myself out of Dollar Tree products for $5 or less. And that's what I did. I'll show you how this week on Pack, Eat, Repeat. It's Aneka with Pack Eat Repeat, and I have another edition of Craft Eat Repeat for you. Today, I'm gonna show you how I recreated some Christmas decor that I saw in Joanne Fabric, and I recreated three of them for less than the price of the one that I saw in the store. Today's video is in collaboration with a bunch of amazing crafters, Mama Dares to DIY, Kippy at Home, Salmon, Christie's Crafts DIY, First Day of Home, Leah Southern Yankee, and just that perfect piece. All of them are amazing crafters and all of them have ornament ideas for you today. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because I've got a lot more Christmas fun coming at you this holiday season. All right guys, let's get started. To start off this project, you're going to need some ornaments from the Dollar Tree, letters, paint, twine, and some picks. I also later decided to use some garland which isn't pictured here. Now decide what word you want your decor to say and get that number of ornaments. Now we're going to remove the metal piece from the top of the ornament and really you don't need to take anything else off of the front. I realized that later. The back of these ornaments are nice and smooth and perfect for painting and you're not really going to see the back anyway so you can skip that step. All we need is this little metal piece. Next, we're going to turn our ornaments over and give them a nice coat of paint. I decided to use a red background with white letters, but I also think it would be really pretty to do a white background and leave the letters a wood color. Um, so you can decide to do whatever you want to match the decor in your home. I did have to give this about three to four coats of paint for it to be the color that I wanted it to be. And I also had to make sure to get the sides because even though this ornament was already red, I wanted it to match completely. While these were drying, I took my letters and I did get these from, I think Joanne Fabric. Um, but I got them a while ago and I already had them, so I, I just went ahead and used them. But they do have letters at the Dollar Tree, so you can check and find some of those. I decided to paint these white, so while my ornaments were drying, I painted my letters. Next, I used a glue gun to glue the metal piece back on top of my ornaments. So now they look like ornaments again. Once you've done that, you're going to want to lay out your ornaments in the order of the letters that you want. The example that I saw in the store said holiday but I wanted to do some other words in my house, so I decided to make some that said hope, joy, and Noel. I did decide to use a garland to make the O's, so what you see here are all the letters excluding the O that I will show you how to make in just a minute. Once you have your letters where you want them, you're just gonna use your hot glue gun to attach them to your ornament. Now, if you're a person who is bothered by things not being perfect, you might want to measure this. I just kind of eyeballed it and I think it came out okay, but slight deviations don't bother me and I know it bothers a lot of other people, so use your judgment on that one. Now I'm going to make my O's. These are some picks that I got from the Dollar Tree at the beginning of the Christmas season. Of course, you can use whatever colors you want. They have gold, white, red, 
whatever you want to match your decor. Next, I grabbed a garland, also from the Dollar Tree, and I was able to make all of my O's out of this with plenty of extra to spare. I think I only probably used half. I wanted it to be a bit more full, so I doubled it and twisted it around itself. Next, I just made a loop and used the wire inside of the garland to twist it all together. I had already made one O, so I wanted to make sure they were about the same size since I plan on placing these really close to each other. So I didn't want them to be too far off in size. If you're hanging these in different parts of your house though, that part doesn't matter quite so much. I snipped off the extra and now I have my O. I wanted to add some berries just to add a little bit more color. So I cut apart the pick that I got from the Dollar Tree and just placed all the pieces around in my O. I used a combination of a hot glue gun and some green pipe cleaner to attach it to the garland. Now this pipe cleaner blended right in and I couldn't really even see it, but of course you can use floral wire or something a little bit lower profile if you'd like to create this step. And now it's time to put it all together. I laid out all of my pieces to create my words and then I used this twine also from the Dollar Tree. And this twine comes in a pack of three. I didn't even use one of the rolls to create this project. So I'm gonna turn my ornament upside down, place the twine in a loop through the hole and just tie it up. This is gonna give me something to hang it from when I put it on my wall. Next, I'm just going to secure that with some hot glue to make sure that it doesn't shift too much. Now, once again, I'm not too picky about things being slightly asymmetrical or slightly off. Um, I do know that that bothers a lot of people. <laughs> What I did to try to make this as close as possible is I used a Sharpie and just put the two pieces of my twine together and made a little mark so that I could see approximately where the same point on the twine was. Then I tried to find two spots about the same level on the back of my ornament and I just used hot glue to attach the twine at that spot. So the Sharpie was just more of a guide to make sure that I was on the right track and that one side wasn't extensively longer than the other. Next, I used a pipe cleaner to attach my twine to my garland. This gave me the ability to attach it in a way that I could still adjust it a bit before using the glue gun to attach it permanently. So I laid out my garland O upside down and then I laid the twine right over it to where I thought would be a good spot for it to go. Now, I did experiment with this a little bit. Some of my decor I made with a little more space between the ornaments and the garland, and some I made them very close. I think I prefer them very close, but you should definitely play around with this. It's so easy to adjust it a little bit, and if needed, the hot glue, you can pull it right off and give a little more space if you think you'd like that look a little more. Of course, if you did holiday or a longer word like that or Christmas or anything like that, you're going to want to put them close together or it will be extremely long. So I turned it over and made sure that my O was pretty even about where I wanted it to be. And then I flipped it back over and just used hot glue 
right around the pipe cleaner to stick it on there for good. Next, I took my last ornament, turned it upside down, and repeated the same steps. I just laid it on the side, tried to make sure that I had it about even, about the same width apart, and I glued it on with a hot glue gun. Now, make sure that when you are gluing it on, you glue a pretty good amount of the twine onto the back of your ornament. If you just do one small spot, your ornament will kind of pivot around the twine. So you wanna make sure you have a nice long piece of glue on there to hold it nice and stable. And once again, I'm out of my hot glue stick. I swear you guys, I should buy stock in a hot glue gun company. I, I go through so many glue sticks, it's crazy. But once I got it glued on there, I was able to flip it over and you guys, I love the way this came out. I think I like it better than the one I found in the store and I was expecting this project to take me a few days to finish all three but you know me once I get going I'm like let's make a thousand of them so I made all three of mine in one night and I love it so much I think I spent around 10 to 12 dollars to complete everything I had some items left over and I like it so much better than the $24 one that I saw in Joanne. Next, to continue on with this ornament theme, I wanted to show you guys a few kid-friendly projects that you can do with your kids or grandkids this holiday season. I've had so many people commenting on my videos about how they would love to do these with their kids or their grandkids when they come to visit, and I just think there's something special about having little humans around in the house over the holidays. So I wanted to share this with you. First, we're gonna make some cinnamon ornaments and you guys, I wish you could smell my house right now. This smells so amazing. I'm going to link the recipe down below, but essentially you just mix a bunch of cinnamon and some applesauce to make a dough. I also add nutmeg and ginger, and I usually add cloves, I just didn't have any today. It makes this dough that you can easily roll out and then use cookie cutters to make fun shapes. You put them in the oven on about 200 degrees for two and a half hours to dry them out, or you could really just leave them on the counter and it will take about two to two and a half days to dry out. They come out nice and hard and then you can hang them on your tree or put them around your house and they smell amazing. save these and on Thanksgiving I'm going to give them to my kids to paint as an activity for them to do while they wait for the meal. Next we're going to make some cupcakes that look like ornaments. Just make some cupcakes, add some icing, you're going to use a marshmallow and just a little dab of frosting to make the hangy part of the ornament. I don't even know what you call that <laughs> but the little part that you would hang it from and then you and your kids and all of your family members can go crazy decorating, making your ornaments look however you want them to. This is mine and I'll also show you what my family came up with.
This one was so fun, so easy, and really tasty too. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these ornament themes, crafts, and treats that you can do at home. I really enjoyed making these and I loved how they came out. Be sure to check out the other ladies in this collaboration. We are just becoming a supportive community of amazing crafters and I cannot wait for you to see what the other girls came up with. So be sure to check out Mama Dares to DIY, Kippy at Home, Salmon, Christie's Crafts, DIY, First Day of Home, Southern Yankee, DIY, and Just That Perfect Piece. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.